Okay, y'all. So, I thought that I would start off the crock pot meals with my husband's absolute favorite crock pot meal, which is a pork loin wrapped in bacon <laughs> with a little bit of apple juice, brown sugar, some spices. You just let that do its thing all day long, and then it's just falling apart by dinner time. So, single ladies, if you need to catch you a man, write this recipe down. <laughs> but what I love about doing this is if you can catch a whole pork loin on sale at your grocery store, get the whole pork loin and literally in the 20 minutes or so that it takes for this to get in the crock pot, ready to set it and forget it, you can put together three or four freezer meals. Done. Now, I'm not a big fan of going shopping and spending five hours making 30 freezer meals. No. No. That's not how I do it. But, if I'm cooking something and I can double it, or if I'm cooking something and I can kind of make two meals at one time and throw one in the freezer, that is the way I like to do it. Because then, gradually, you're kind of building up that freezer stash without spending hours upon hours cooking. Just not possible with three kids. So, I got one whole pork loin. Ours was close to 11 pounds, I think. And out of that pork loin, I got the chunk of it that I put in the crock pot today. I got two freezer meals of pork chops um, in bags with the kind of marinade seasoning mix on it. And then I got um, a second kind of chunk of a pork loin that I can use in the crock pot later. And that is the beauty. That is the beautiful thing about what I did today is those couple of freezer meals that I put in the bag, the pork chops, those are crock pot meals for later. Yeah. Crock pot and freezer meals, which are still crock pot meals. Does not get any easier. So I'm going to go through the video and show you guys exactly how to kind of put everything together. So the crock pot, the pork loin that I'm putting in the crock pot today, obviously it'll be step by step through the video. The pork chops that are in the bag with the kind of marinade mix on them, which I talk about that in the video, um, those you can either A, thaw them out either in the fridge or in the sink the night before, throw them in the next morning and thaw it out and cook them, or and this is where, especially like you nurses, the people who work 12 hour shifts, this is for you. You can just grab it out of the freezer that morning, run a little hot water over the outside of the bag so you can kind of break it into chunks, throw it in the crock pot, frozen. Yes, yes, yes. And then it'll take a little bit longer for it to cook. So it doesn't end up cooking too much or burning while you're at work on those really long days but it still is falling apart and soft and tender when you get home. It's ready to eat. So, you can do that one of two ways. Thaw it out and throw it in, or throw it in frozen. It's that simple. And then that other roast, I will thaw out and then, or the other chunk of pork loin, I will thaw out and then throw in the crock pot. A lot of times I like to use those for barbecue because you're kind of shredding it up anyway and adding a whole bunch of like sauce on it. So it doesn't really matter if it's not the absolute best chunk of meat which sometimes freezing meat all right y'all so this is the pork loin that I got because um, it was on sale so this is about almost 11 pounds it's 10.62 pounds to be exact um, and then I've got my bacon and stuff that we're gonna wrap it in so you can see how this would easily um, be a couple different meals hi Callie so I'm gonna cut um, the pork loins for the crock pot, just like the big um, sections kind of for both ends. And then I'm going to cut some pork chops in the middle um, to do our freezer meals. Um, most grocery stores will probably do this for you. I didn't, with all three kids, didn't want to stay in there and wait for them to do that. But a lot of places will cut this up how you wish. Okay, so I like when I'm cutting up this big of a piece of meat to just work for my sink. 
Um, that way all the juices, everything kind of just goes in there and then it's easy to clean your sink when you're done instead of having um, like juice running all over your counter and everything else. Um, so I always put the biggest piece of meat in the sink to cut it up, get it worked up. Um, I always, when I'm cooking, have like a bag or a bowl kind of in one side of the sink um, to catch wrappers and, and smaller pieces and all the trash and then that way you just take that one bag and just tie it up and take it to the trash. Okay, so I've got my pork loin cut up. Like I said, mine was almost 11 pounds. So um, here's the roast um, that I'm gonna do tonight. It's a little on the bigger side. There's the bacon, we're gonna wrap that. Um, here's the pork chops that I cut. Um, I tried to cut them about an inch, inch and a half-ish thick. Um, this is where the store would do a much better job than what I would. Um, and then here's the other end of the pork loin. Um, so that'll be the other kind of roast from the pork loin um, that I will use for the crock pot later. It's a little smaller than the one that we're doing tonight, but it'll work. Okay, so um, I've got one bag already done, um, but what you're going to do once you have all your meat cut up and you're ready to put it in the bags, um, in a gallon Ziploc, put a can of cream of chicken soup, um, a pack of dry ranch mix, any brand, I've tried every brand, is fine. Um, and then a pack of like pork gravy mix or um, mushroom soup mix, just something like that to add some more seasoning and flavor. I've tried it with a lot of different things. Um, I try to use what I have on hand and today that was pork gravy mix. So in this bag I have the can of cream of chicken soup, about two thirds a can of water, um, just to help it mix and coat the pork. Um, a pack of dry ranch mix and a pack of pork gravy mix. Um, and so then this is where I try to let the kids help. Go ahead, Kason. Um, and just zhuzh it around just like this. It contains the mess um, and it gets everything good mixed up and it lets them help in the kitchen, which there's not a lot they can help do, but it does let them help some. And they're pretty good at, you know, wrestling things like that. Good job. Okay, so Kason's got this pretty good mixed up. Um, I'm going to add the pork chops to the bag. I usually do four to six to a bag. Um, four will feed us. Six is usually a little better and has a little leftover for Clinton's lunch. So just put them in the bag. Um, kind of get the marinade all over the pork chops like this. And then just kind of get it flat. And then put it in your freezer and it will freeze. Um, okay, so here is um, the part of the pork loin that I'm using tonight. Um, I've got it wrapped in bacon. Um, the lazy girl method is just to lay the bacon across and tuck the edges under the pork loin, which is what I do. Um, in your crock pot, um, I put enough apple juice to kind of put about half an inch in the bottom. You just want to coat the bottom and give it some juice. The pork will get a lot of juice from the bacon and from the pork itself. Um, so... Um, you can either season it and then put it in the crock pot or put it in the crock pot and then season it. Um, I like to put it in the crock pot and then season mine just to contain the mess. I'm all about containing the mess. Okay, so we have the pork loin in the crock pot. Um, I just kind of set it over in there. I don't know if you can kind of see the apple juice back here. Kind of came up on the sides. Um, and then we're going to take some nature seasoning, which I put on um, like everything. Um, you can find it at most grocery stores. So I'm going to let Kaysen, this is another part that the kids can kind of help with. I'm going to let Kaysen just kind of sprinkle it all over, all over the pork loin. All right, buddy, go ahead. Here, kind of shake it. There we go. Okay. So that gives it a little bit of the savory spices. And then um, I always put, you've got the apple juice, you've got those kind of savory spices, you have the bacon, obviously. And then I just take some brown sugar and just sprinkle it on the top and the kids can kind of help with this too it doesn't exactly contain the mess like what you would hope but um they can help with this a little bit so i just sprinkle some bacon sugar some bacon sugar lord some brown sugar on the top and that kind of helps that bacon caramelize as well callie ray you gonna help too okay 
So that is it. You put the lid on. Um, it's about 10 o'clock now and we'll probably eat 6.30ish. So, you know, just kind of get it in there in the morning um, and put the lid on and you're done and then dinner's ready. So crock pot meal for today, chunk teas for later, freezer meals in the bags.